right, fuckers. Here's a uh, my little overview of the uh, Kershaw groove. Right off the bat, I'll tell you that I uh, I just took this knife apart. You can see all my bullshit Q-tips, gun cleaner, oil, cigarettes. <laughs> Anyways, I had to take this knife apart because um, <clears throat> I live in a very humid area. Uh, in summer, it's really humid. <clears throat> so, of course, being a fucking Kershaw, this little bead blasted, whatever the fuck they do to these stainless steel handles, they, they just fucking rust. L literally overnight, they'll fucking have a little speckles of rust. So, I took these little G10 overlays off, took the pie clip off, took the knife apart, and I, uh, I kind of antiqued, I guess you could say, kind of like you see people antique Sabenzas. I antiqued. The handle slabs, which, you know, in turn obviously got rid of the uh, little speckles of rust, which will probably come back because it's a fucking Kershaw. Hopefully not, because I got that coating off. And usually it's that coating. Sorry, I'm moving the fucking camera around. <clears throat> usually it's that coating that causes those little speckles of rust. So it kind of looks antiqued. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it. I just hit it with a scotch Bright you know, green scour pad. It's got fine, really, really fine. There you go, you might be able to see it. Scratches, you can't really tell. Um, the little speckles of rust just really pissed me off. Uh, the blade's fine, but I keep the blades oiled. Uh, knife's brand new. Really cool knife, <clears throat> uh, especially for the money. You know, even with the little bullshit speckles of rust that I got, I, I, I really don't care. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm coughing, shit, I'm fat, you know how it goes. Um, if you ever watch my video, you know I cough, I breathe real heavy because well, I'm overweight, and that's what overweight people do, we breathe hard because we're fucking fat. Anyways, Kershaw Groove, the flipper, the fucker comes right out every time, it's really easy. If you can't flip this knife out without wrist action, you're a fucking idiot, <clears throat> and that's all there is to it, it's easy. Really smooth. Uh, bronze phosphorite washers. Uh, people have reviewed this knife, but they never fucking tell you. It's bronze phosphorite washers. Uh, how great they are. They're, they're alright. I took it apart. It's better than a Tenacious. They're thicker thicker washers than a Tenacious. Um, are they like Sabenza washers? Fuck, no, they're not. But you shouldn't expect them to be like that for a fucking $50 knife or whatever the fuck this costs. I got it from a local knife shop for 40 bucks out the door, which... You know, you can't beat that, really. I really, I've always wanted, <coughs> that was a really dirty burp. I just got back from a wedding and I yoked a lot of food. But there's a lock up. It's a frame lock. This isn't a liner lock knife. Um, I don't give a shit what anybody says. It's not. It's a frame lock um, with G10 overlays, not inlays, overlays. They overlay the frame. And it kind of acts as a hinderer so you don't overextend the lock bar on this side. Which is cool. Um, yeah, I mean, you can tell by looking at this, the, the pod clip being here or down here, you can mount it up or down, right hand carry. You know, obviously, the pod clip's going to fuck you in the ass uh, when it's sitting on this G10. It's a bitch getting out of your pocket because it's thick and it's G10. And it just fucks you. That's just how it goes, but it's not that bad. It'll go in your pocket easy enough. Um, this knife is incredibly smooth. Incredibly, I mean, you really don't have to. I mean, I'm not even really fucking trying. You can, and if you do flick your wrist a little bit, that fucker comes right out. But I mean, with no wrist, you know, preload that fucker comes right out. Really good. These little striations on the blade, really, they're just there to fuck you because all that does when you cut shit <clears throat> is get tape and dirt and shit all stuck in it. But, um, I don't really like the way they look either, but hey, I can't afford a uh, R.J. Martin, and this is the closest thing I can get. Well, I can't afford R.J. Martin right now. That's one knife I've always wanted. I want one of his his knives. Um, I'll get one one day, but right now I can't afford it. Uh, just like I want a Terzula, but I can't afford that either. One day I'll have one or the other. We'll see which one comes first. But yeah, I, I just I love R.J. Martin's designs. There you go. There's R.J. Martin. Um, I mean, it looks like an R.J. Martin knife. 
Q36, is that what the fuck it's called? I don't know. I just love the design. Uh, I have big hands. You know, you got your first choil and the secondary choil. It's just perfect. Uh, I've never felt a knife, honestly, that feels this good in my hand. It just, for me, it's just perfect. Um, I really do like it. It's a great knife. Uh, centering is, um, it's almost perfect. It's a cunt hair off to the side. Sorry if there's any women watching this. Yeah, just the slightest cunt hair towards the uh, right side, the non-locking side. Flips right out like a son of a bitch. I mean, look at this. That thing flips out like a bipolar. Look, that's like premium butter ruski. Boom. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> really cool knife. Am, am I a huge fan of these G10 overlays? No, I'm not a fan of this Nickelodeon looking, you know, goop dropping shit pattern. If this was just a straight line all the way around, I'd be a lot happier. The same goes with the side. This was straight. Maybe I'll get uh, tough thumbs to put a little pimp juice on this, some different overlays. But probably not because it's a um, $40 knife and um, I don't feel like spending $40 on some new G10 pieces. I've already antiqued it, fucked it up, so that's always good. <coughs> but um, really cool knife. Jimping, it's there, but it's uh, non-functional. I don't really care that, you know, with the flipper being there, it locks you in. Your hand's not going to go in there. If your hand slips up here, just fuck off. Like, seriously, it's not going to it's not gonna happen. You have two choils and a flipper. If your hand slips up, you deserve to get your fucking hand cut off. You just do. Um, what else can I say about this? It's all Torx construction. It's got three pillars. One, two, three. This fucker's solid. I know I said that, but solid. There's absolutely no blade play on this knife. None. Zero. Um... Even with the fucking blade not going very far there. You see the stop pin. I was looking at that and I was like, I know this is going to fuck me in the ass. I know it's not going to be solid. But it is. It's really solid. There's no blade play up and down, side to side. Oh yeah, blade steel. It's a Sandvik 13C26. I could be wrong if I am. Um, I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments because you always do. So tell me if I'm wrong. And the handles are 410 stainless. I, mean, I don't know if they're treated or what, but they're 410 stainless. Lock bar locks up, same place every time. I'd say it's probably about on this one. I fuck with it all the time. It's probably about, I don't know, 65% lock up, maybe 70%. I could really give a fuck because it locks up solid. <coughs> um, what else? Yeah, so stainless steel, frame lock, sandvik steel. Uh, that steel's decent. I'll tell you one thing. This sandvik steel that does have a tendency to rust. Uh, if you're fat like me and you sweat a lot, it's going to rust. And I'm always sweating. Because that's another thing overweight people do. We sweat because we're just fat. So if you're fat, maybe think twice about this one or keep some oil on the blade like I do. But um, my buddy Neptune... Uh, Dave at Neptune Knives. I think you would like this knife. It, I know it's cheap. Trust me, I know. And I know you like really nice stuff. But I think you would like this because it's a frame lock. There's no area... I mean, the to release the lock bar is a little bit out, but not much. <clears throat> and it's stainless. You're not going to get lock rock with this fucker. This is Sandvik steel. It's not hard worth a shit. <laughs> and this is stainless steel. This isn't going to wear out. Maybe it will. But I doubt it. I don't know. I just think it's a great knife. Um, I appreciate all the new subs, guys. And I also, I really appreciate the uh, <clears throat> the contest video that Neptune, that you did for me. Uh, you're a great guy. I talked to you through emails and all that bullshit. You're a really cool guy. You, um, <clears throat> I just really appreciate it. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions about this, just ask me, and I'll do my best to answer. Um, this is the one with the gray G10. I think this one's discontinued, but I'm not positive. But if you have any questions, just uh, ask me. I know you can get the one with the black G10 and an all-black coated Tanto fucking crazy looking one. Anyways, thanks, guys. Any questions, just leave them in the comments. All right, peace.